Hi everyone, uh, I am here now today to explain uh, the task 19D of your textbook. In this task they said how to deal with your uh, presentation and how to insert the slides, how to change the slide layouts into that uh, specific presentation. So here they have mentioned that add a new slide between slide 4 and 5 of the presentation that you save in task 19c so it is here so between these two so i need to click on 4 and then click on home here and insert a slide so for example i just insert a slide like this and then after they mention here that uh, this slide will contain the heading a uh, is of use a chart with a bulleted list so we need to change the layout of this uh, slide for example I change to this one and then I need to include the heading as well I will type the heading here is of use and then we'll click on this one make this one smaller and this one is your um, bulleted list here and we need to type here 86% uh, of students 86% of students found it easy to use just like that and then we need uh, 120 students in the sample like that and then we are going to make this one little bit bigger and this one I'm going to adjust here with a chart now as they mentioned so we'll click on the graph here when you click on the graph you just double click here on the graph and whatever is here we just delete them and we just uncheck the uh, selected area we don't need to do anything here yeah this is our area and now after uh, removing this all or you just uh, uh, move forward to the chart that they need use this data to create a chart easy 103 difficult 12 no response 5 show the percentage of uh, students in each category so we need to include a chart here either it is a pie chart or it's a normal uh, you can say the bar graph so I'm going to include here a um, pie chart here so we'll click uh, first of all I'm going to type my data here I'm not going to select these areas so I will say here easy 103 and then after next is uh, and no risk or difficult difficult is uh, 12 and then no response is 5 so just make this one like that and then here number of students just like that and then I'm going to choose this data here and then we'll uh, insert a chart insert a chart and this chart is for example a pie chart click on ok so this is the area for this area I'm going to insert a chart so if you have a look here at the moment I'm getting everything blank here because we have removed that data here so if you just uh, first of all uh, change the type of the chart from here to a pie chart and now make the changes accordingly for example I delete this data and even I delete the columns as well uh, like just uh, by right clicking and delete the columns and then this is my data here so uh, we'll start here easy then uh, uh, difficult and then we have uh, data here uh, it's uh, no 
response it's 5 only this one is 12 this one is 103 and then this one I don't need at all we'll delete this one and here I'm going to type here students that's all so now the chart is already included here you can see the chart so we'll just click on close now and the chart is inserted here and next step what I need to do is uh, yeah that's all and I need to adjust this chart to fit in the area of the presentation just like that and next step is to on slide one add the heading hints and tips and add the subheading for IGCSE students so we'll move to slide one so I first of all I'm going to change the layout of it to a tighter slide so I can just type here hints yeah hints and uh, tips and here I will type here for IGCSE students just like that so once you are done with this one we'll move forward to the next step set the following style for the text throughout the entire presentation so in this case now you have to click on view and you need to go to slide master here and then here they mention heading so you click on your main slide this is your heading this heading must be dark blue serif left line and 40 point so we'll click on home and this one must be 40 a serif font i always mention times new roman and in a dark blue or blue color i'm going to choose blue color from here and then left align as well so it is left align and then after subheading blue sans serif center line 30 point so for subheading you need to uh, check here the different kind of uh, uh, titles we have here so the subheading for example i choose this one this time and we'll click here and we'll make the changes into that for example um, they have mentioned here subheading so we just apply these changes to the subheading so for master slide click on second slide and then choose this one master subtitle and this one must be subheading blue sans serif center line 30 point so blue then home sans serif so i always prefer to use arial arial with the 30 point this time so we'll just mention here 30 and then this one must be in a blue text blue as well and then center line and 30 point so it is already center align and then next step is bulleted list black sans serif left line 24 point so now you need to go back to the main slide and here is the first bulleted list so that one must be black sans serif arial and then must be 24 point only just like that and then it should be a left line it is already left line after this all you just click on view and normal view so this is how your document will uh, look like yeah whenever you will find the bulleted list it will be uh, 24 point in the aerial form so that's all from this task and then we'll see you in next task